The Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, faced the panel of the House Committee on Appropriations for their deliberation of their proposed budget for 2024. During the interpellation of lawmakers, DENR Secretary Antonia Yulo Loisaga said they are investigating the ECC and it is ready to impose possible sanction. If there were misdeeds, if there were any kind of um, in infraction in terms of the rules, we will certainly be able to look into possible sanctions. However, at this point, our emphasis is really on reviewing the ECCs. Meanwhile, Gabriela Partilis Representative Arlene Brosas questioned the basis of the DENR to suspend the Manila Bay Reclamation projects as she received reports that the reclamation in some areas of Cavite are still ongoing. Kasi Mr. Chair, nakakabalita pa rin tayo ng mga ulat na sa reclamation, meron pa rin mga activities na nangyayari sa Cavite, katulad ng Rosario, Noveleta, Tanzea, Naik, no? Kaya ang tanong po natin at saka projects in Manila Bay, uh, may order ba and clear guidelines na? DENR said it only reacted upon the verbal instruction of President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. We have based it on the verbal uh, declaration of the President on the need to suspend in order to assess the impact of all these projects. While the DENR is still investigating the ECC, it will conduct a cumulative impact assessment of Manila Bay Reclamation projects, whether it should continue or come to an end. The scientific team that will do the cumulative impact assessment is still being formed, po, as I had released to uh, the public uh, last week. And so the directions that will be taken will be determined by the results of their scientific work. JP Nunez, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.